This movie is actually filmed in southern Victoria, like three hours away from my house in this national park. And it looks really beautiful. I love the location they filmed this movie. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is OCD Me Reviews. My name is On The Brain Cat and today I'm going to review the latest Australian mystery thriller, Force of Nature, The Dry 2. This is a sequel to The Dry that came out in 2021. This movie is also directed once again by Robert Conley who directed the first movie and this movie stars Eric Banner, Jacqueline McKenzie, Deborah Lee Furness and Sissy Stinger. Five women participate in a hike and retreat, but only four came out the other side. Federal detectives head into the mountains hoping to find their informant is still alive. So we got a new Australian mystery thriller film that also happened to be the sequel to the 2021's The Dry, which I really did like. That movie also stars Eric Banner, which I think is one of his better performances that I've seen in a while. And also it's one of the better Australian films that I've seen in a while. So now we got a sequel and once again, like The Dry, there's so many previews of this movie. Every time I go to a cinema, this preview always shows up. So I'm like, okay, I'll check out this movie, just like how I felt about the first movie. But I'm expecting to actually love this film like the first one did because the first one actually really surprised me. It turned out better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm interested to see this new mystery sequel. And I gotta say, unfortunately, in my opinion, this movie doesn't live up to the hype than the first movie. Is this movie terrible? No. I just find this movie just okay, in my personal opinion. It's enjoyable enough, but it definitely has its issues. But of course, Let's talk about the things I liked about this movie first. I would say, first of all, the performances. Every single performer in this film is great in the film, especially when it comes to Eric Banner. He is still fantastic in this film. You root for this detective to follow this mystery and find this missing person. And Eric Banner, once again, great actor and another great performance in this movie. And it's sad to me because I was going to go to a Q&A for this movie, it was going to show in a place called Cinema Nova, where we get to meet Robert Conley and the actor Eric Banner. And I was actually excited to meet Eric Banner because honestly, he's a really great actor and I wouldn't mind having a photo with him. But unfortunately, I had to miss out on it because it's also on the same day where me and my friend get to see the Dark Knight trilogy bundle in IMAX. And it's still a great decision. But at the same time, I would have loved to meet Eric Banner. But Eric Banner overall is really good in this movie. But I gotta say, the standout of this movie is actually these five women. Each of these five women does a really good performance in this movie. The one that goes missing, Alice, played by Anna Toff, is really good in this movie because she's one of those characters in this movie where you don't know if you should like her or hate her because there are times that she is a total bitch in this film and there are times that she's actually right in some situations. So it's really interesting to see the missing person being on mixed receptions, either you like her or hate her or not. Deborah Lee Furness, Hugh Jackman's now ex-wife is in this film and she also does a really good performance in this film as the leader of these five women. She's one of those tough love type of people, you know, she gets all attitude around people and I thought she does a pretty good job in the film. And what I also like about this movie is since the first one is a murder mystery, this one takes on more of a missing persons movie. So I appreciate that Force of Nature to Drive 2 is doing something completely different. Not rehashing the first movie at all, just basically being its own thing. And also the location of this film. I love the wintry, rainy, gritty vibe in this film. Which is awesome because this movie is actually filmed in southern Victoria, like three hours away from my house in this national park. And it looks really beautiful. I love the location they filmed this movie. And I would say the first 40 minutes and the final act is where I did enjoy this film. It picks up its pace. It gets very, very interesting and it gets very investing. But unfortunately, one of my biggest problems with this movie is the middle. It definitely has its pacing issues and it didn't need to be as long as it is. This movie is two hours long. It didn't need to be that long. The movie literally starts off paced very well and then it started pacing down just a little bit starting to get just a little bit boring to the point where i'm like okay i'm starting to not really care so much really also eric banner in this film has a past in this film there's a subplot about eric banner's past when he was little and it's very tragic but unfortunately it just has nothing to do with the story except that what they have in common with the missing persons case and his past is that it's in the same location so in my opinion it just didn't need to be in this film at 
all, but probably one of my biggest issues with this film is the middle. It definitely has its pacing issues, it slows the film down, but then straight after it picks back up at the end and it becomes at least an okay enjoyable mystery film. Overall, The Force of Nature to Drive 2 doesn't really live up to the hype to the first movie. I thought the first movie was paced way better than this movie, but it's still a pretty fine mystery film. If you're into these crime investigation movies, missing person investigation movies, just investigation movies in general, I think you will find some enjoyment with this film. Eric Banner does a great performance once again. The five women, they all did a really good job in this film. The mystery for the most part was intriguing, but the problem with this movie is definitely its pacing. It definitely goes boring in the middle, and then it just picks up at the end. So overall, Force of Nature to Dry 2, it's just okay in my personal opinion. I'm going to give Force of Nature to Dry 2 a C+. Plus. So guys, that is my review for Force of Nature to Dry 2. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favourite Australian film of all time? Let me know that in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below, keep contact with me, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, notify for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a nice day.